What's up YouTube? This is Albert Aldridge of AlbertAldridgeFitness.com. Thank you very much for clicking on the video. It's an absolute pleasure having you. And welcome to my full day of lean bulking, full day of eating, lean bulking to get big, strong, lean, better for crossfit, better for powerlifting, motivation. Today we're looking at some of my childhood memories. So what I ate when I was younger and what I used to love. And if you want to let me know some of your childhood memories, as in what food you like to eat when you're younger, do let me know in the comments section below and we can have a conversation. I've just done my run, done some legs, time for church, and I'll see you when I get back. <laughs> I'm back. There's all my weight stuff behind me. The point of these full days of eating is for me to show you as an online nutrition coach and personal trainer is about how you can eat flexibly, still achieve your micronutrient goals by eating five portions of fruit and veg a day and achieve your weight loss or weight lean muscle gain goals, toning up goals and still be able to eat foods that you really like that a lot of people think that you aren't allowed to have in your diet when losing weight. I mean who wants to restrict eating chocolate? And I admit, I have been talking for ages on my channel about doing a Moroccan day of eating, but basically my part-time uni course has started again alongside the jobs I do, and the Moroccan day of eating was taking a lot of planning because I was going to do some recipes as well. So I will do that eventually in the future, when there's a bit more time, but with my childhood memories-based day of eating today, I'm doing meals that are a little bit more simple to make just for the sake of time. There are some odd combinations in there though that you guys might not approve of, but you got to try it first before you criticise. Let's go inside. What do you think about all this, Darnie? Having another dog stay in the house? Mate, what are you doing? No, oh, he's back. Our dog Darnet is absolutely fine to look after, but we've got our friend's dog today, and he's a little bit more lively, aren't you, Freddie? Let me show you them. A love going on there. No, you don't think so, do you, Darnet? You're just an old girl. Now, something I used to have a little bit when I was younger were penguin bars. I don't think you get these in America, they're by McVitie's, but 130 calories per bar is actually a little bit melted, I think. Oh dear. I used to get things like Yorkie bars, munchies, I think they were called, dairy milk bars on the way home from primary school, and sometimes penguins were mixed up in that equation. Oh boy, it's really quite messy. This has been in my bag for a little while, and it's kind of melted. It's like two biscuit layers. Uh, and you get a cheeky chocolate center in the middle. Can you see that? Mm -mm -mm. Then on the side, I'm having some chocolate buttons by Dairy Milk. Again, there was something I used to have in my childhood days. And then I'm having a bit of Tesco Valley dark chocolate. The dogs have just got outside. I'm going to have to go and check up on what Diana's doing. But I'm going to enjoy the rest of this. And I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> common food I used to have when I went to primary school was I used to love, I haven't done it completely accurately as I did, but I used to love having two slices of white bread, ham in the middle and a good serving of ketchup. But the only thing this time, I've made it fresh and when I went to school it had been in my bag for quite a few hours and it was squashed in my lunchbox and wrapped in cling film. That was the way I really liked it. But that was quite a staple that I had at primary school from around year one to year six I think. Might have changed slightly but I generally always had the same sandwich. I am going to put some condiments on this for the sake of just trying it on camera and having it exactly as I did in my childhood, I won't put any condiments on it right now. Oh boy, it's like a blast from the past. So I'll probably put some salt and pepper on it and some garlic salt on it now. 
have the tomatoes also with it. I had a couple of chocolate buttons also with this meal. And I'm having this instead of my chicken and couscous concoction I usually have on my normal days of eating. I will be filming a normal day of eating next week. <laughs> Do you want to know how I'm getting this shot? I'm leaning my camera on a mini WD-40 can that's lent to the side and that's on a very convenient ledge in my garage. Hashtag YouTube grind. Hashtag work every day. Hashtag work life. Hashtag work hard, play hard. Hashtag for the sake of hashtagging. Mm. I just want to briefly let you guys know what I'm doing in regards to my approach to nutrition for the next couple of years in order for me to become a stronger athlete, especially in regards to the squat, the deadlift, the bench press, the overhead press, and the clean jerk and the snatch, and also build up my aerobic capacity. My main focus with endurance is becoming faster across a 10k distance, and I'm also going to briefly let you know about a weight loss tip. And this is something usually a lot of people don't know and don't realise they're doing. So first of all, with my nutrition, in the next couple of years, I started on September the 10th, I weighed about 75, 74 kilos. No, I lie, about 73, maybe. Well, around that region, that was just because I'd come back from holiday. And then for this past month, I've been eating 3,500 calories. So when I came back from holiday, I was eating around 3,400 calories, added 100 calories into my diet on September the 10th. And now we're approaching October the 10th, I'm going to add another 100 calories into my diet. And I'm going to do that on the 10th of every month for the next couple of years whilst being flexible with my diet obviously so if I go out to a party I have to loosely track calories so eventually my intakes can be around 5,500 to 6,000 calories a day I'm predicting so I found so far that that's been a really good way for me to gain weight very slowly so in a lean bulk style whilst maintaining quite a low body fat level and still maintaining my aerobic endurance I'll go into more detail in another video and with the weight loss tip I've had clients in the past who have tried to loosely track their calories a bit too early on I really do preach about flexible dieting because a nutrition plan should fit around a lifestyle and not the other way around and I do recommend with clients by talking with them about when they should start loosely tracking calories using my fitness power a lot more rather than the meals that I've recommended for them to have and sometimes I find clients have done it a bit too early on which has hindered their weight loss progress and a big reason for that is because of some of the food choices they've been making containing a lot of ingredients in the ingredients list so what I mean is I did an Instagram post on it there's a link to my Instagram in the YouTube description description and I'll put the same post on the screen right now but in a nutshell that Instagram post is explaining about if you compare say like a chocolate granola cereal with something like an egg with the chocolate granola cereal the calories per 100 grams of the chocolate granola cereal might be 400 on the packet and you don't have it too often say once or twice a week but every time you have it you always might pick out the chocolate pieces from the chocolate granola and you essentially are really having a massive bowl of chocolate pieces and a little bit of granola and chocolate on its own per 100 grams is usually around the high 500 calories per 100 grams more like 560 570 calories per 100 grams so the nutrition label on the chocolate granola packet isn't really going to be applicable for the bowl of cereal you're having because it's primarily chocolate and you might actually track it as a lot less calories in my fitness pal than it actually is whereas if you have something like an egg that contains one ingredient it's an egg so the chances of you not tracking it correctly is very very small because there's only one ingredient you just need to weigh it or just look on the packet of the calories per egg we've got a few more childhood memory foods to have let me take there. Just here from my dinner, I have got a salmon fillet. Haven't weighed it yet, it's probably around 90 grams, and it was cooked grilled in the oven with olive oil spray. Just here, I've got 230 grams of white potato and 240 grams of a combination of baby corn 
and carrots. But the main childhood memory from this meal is that I used to have in my secondary school pack lunch mini pork pies. But the alarming thing is one of these pork pies is about just slightly bigger than an egg. And just for the two of them, it's getting on for two, two times basically 200 calories. It's basically getting on for 400 calories for just two of these pork pies. And that's part of a meal deal, the co-op. So you can see how people rack up the calories without realizing actually how much you're intaking. Probably due to all the pastry and stuff. Let me just open it up. And that's what it looks like there. I'm just open it up there. A ball of pork in there. I'm going to put this in the fridge for now before I eat it just a bit later. Pork pie going down. That's good, man. full day of eating so it's currently 3 a.m. and had the first part of my dinner at 2.30 a.m. I think I might need to get a watch. I keep losing track of time. What's the time? Time for me to get a watch. But a With that pork pie I had with my dinner, 193 calories for that size is ridiculous. I could have easily had that in one bite. Five of them equals a thousand calories. I could have easily eaten 25 of them I reckon for a 10,000 calorie challenge. I'm not really too keen on those challenges though. I hate feeling bloated. Anyway, for the last part of my full day of eating today, I've got one cube of the Tesco Valley dark chocolate, of course. One of the Go Ahead yogurt bars, it's the summer fruits flavour, so you have the yogurt on top and then some fruit within the biscuit bar. A 5 by 1 90 calorie salted caramel flavour biscuit bar. Milk chocolate rice cakes from Sainsbury's. Sainsbury's chocolate corn cleans, three packets of them. And this is the thing from my childhood memory that I used to have a lot as a kid. And I loved having ice cream as a dessert. So I'm having one double chocolate magnum and I believe it's dark chocolate on the outside, then there's a raspberry layer just underneath so it's like dark chocolate raspberry magnum no double dark chocolate raspberry magnum dare to go double i'll dare to do what i like thanks i know you guys like watching me eat food so i'm going to end the video with me eating all this food but if you did enjoy the video please make sure you give it a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already i've got social media links in the youtube description below if you want to check out rcr products and get 10 percent off your order if you buy any of their products then use aa fit 10 in the checkout process or if you want to purchase some really nice watches that i wear myself from sleek supply co then you can use a fitness 20 to get 20 percent off your order in the checkout process links to all the websites are in the youtube description and if you're interested in my nutrition coaching services and are interested in the personal training session coming down here to West Sussex to have a personal training session with me then do feel free to send me an email it's in the YouTube description as well this is Albert Aldridge the nutrition coach of AlbertAldridgeFitness.com signing out I'll see you guys in my next one boom job done leave your ideas for four days of eating in the comment section as well it could be anything the cutest